Hello everyone, with my friend Panda Schizo, we made a full guide on the NPC of Diablo Immortal. I'll tell you everything that you need to know on each NPC and of course the ones that you should be using at all time. I'll start this guide with the NPC that you need to know they are available in every area, meaning at Westmarch, but also in the safe zone. First one is the g -Weather. she's very useful in order to craft some gems, legendary one, but also regular one. And you can of course use this g -Weather in order to upgrade the level of your legendary gems and your gems. The armory is something not very known by the player but it's very useful in order to save your equipment because it will save every stuff that you have but also your skills and your gems meaning that if you wish to switch from one setup to another it will be very convenient with the armory. The altar is something very good if you wish to have some loot because even if you can unlock only 3 pages a day, it doesn't mean that you cannot get the experience and the loot. So you can do as much as you want the bestiary, go to the altar and then get the loot and the experience. You have the stash, nothing funny about it, but you can of course put your items in it. If they are from set or legendary one, there is no other option to identify it. The last one, the blacksmith, which can do a lot of stuff, especially salvage in order to get the material, but also upgrade your stuff and a bit later use the reforge system. Now the NPCs that are in Westmarsh and that you should always know how they work and how to use it. First one, the bartender is the one which giving you contracts, so very important to do if you are a shadow a one which is also not very known by the player, you have this NPC which gives you some elite quests that you need to do in Hell 1 and Hell 2. And the other thing that is interesting is that she will give you a side quest with three events in it, so it can help you if you want to complete your codex. You have one each day if you want to do it. You have the fading embers and runes, it's very important if you want to craft gems. You can buy some far rune with your embers or the Ati runes. The far runes are if you want to craft a random gem and the Ati runes are if you want to craft a specific gem. So make sure to know the ones that you want to craft, check before on the Gweather and then buy the runes accordingly. You have the PvP Battleground Captain which will allow you to do some PvP at the right time. It's very important to do it because you first have 3 daily rewards, so I did it already, that's why it doesn't appear. And of course if you grind in the rank, it's not very hard if you saw the video that I made on the PvP. It will each time give you a legendary essence, so very important to do your PvP. If you want to win your signets, you need to speak with this guy. It's important to do it at the beginning of the reset in terms of shadow. Later, when you reach the fourth step of the shadow, it doesn't matter too much, but at the beginning, it's very important to do it. You should already know the bounty system. You need to do it eight times a day or it will stack up to 24, but don't forget to do it. You have great experiences and some drops. For the market, you can sell the gems and legendary gems that you manage to find in the dungeons or craft for the legendary gems and of course the skill stones which are very good if you wish to get some platinum because if you have two or three skills of the same class, it can be sold very easily. You should go to the Hilt Strider at least once a day because you'll have the crests that you can buy here. It's very important to buy them in order to try to get some legendary gems, especially if you are a fit to play player. You can also check the limited time because you'll have a crest and some material, so it's very good to often see the Hilt Strider. The charm seller is a bit hard to understand because you can craft some charm, meaning that you can put a charm at level 5 and once you have this charm level 5 you can extract it in order to either sell your skill stone or imbue your skill stone. That means that my grand charm, if I want to switch some of the spells on it, I need to use one skill stone, choose a skill and with some luck I'll have the skill that I wanted to have from my skill stone. So it's very hard to do, you need some platiniums and that's why I prefer use it on the gems instead of my charm and that's why my charm is so crappy. 
Zamina is something that you should also look often because it will help you to improve your build. Once you have a legendary power that you can extract, she will always keep this power, meaning that if I want to inherit something, I can take this armor and put anything on it. I can always change at any time when I go to see this NPC. So you just need to make sure to have the power that you need and then you can always choose the one that you want, change it as many times as you want and so on. The last one, the smithing material, which will help you to get some enchanted dust if you want to increase the level of your equipment. Don't buy the crystal because they are crazy overpriced, but otherwise the dust is very good to have here and you can buy the ones that you need in order to get some level on your stuff. Now the last one, the ones that you won't be needed a lot, the first one you have the Archivist, you can see how Immortal works and learn a lot of stuff on it, so if you want to make some research, she is the one that you need to talk to. The Warbone guy, not very useful, only if you wish to go to your camp, but otherwise you won't be needed him, just know that in your camp you can put and take legendary items for your Warband. The Master Jeweler is someone that you won't be seeing a lot, especially if you are as me a free to play player because you need to have your gem level 10 and then use a drawing echo. So, so it should be a long time if you didn't put any money on the game. Near to him you have the Crystal Merchant. This one will allow you to buy echo crystal. It will help you to level up your gem from level 5 to level 6. And I speak only about the regular gem, not the legendary one. So if you wish to have a gem level 6 you will need an echo crystal the last one the crest merchant if you want to have legendary crest it only works if you use the real money so not very useful thanks for watching this video i hope it helps you to understand the npc of diablo immortal especially if you just started the game